This is the K150 Pick Programmer. Uh, it works real well, is easy to use, and it's available for $10 to $15 off of eBay. This is a clone of the original. There's a number of clones that you can use. Nice feature about it. I don't have to power it up or power it down. And the set, you'll see how the software works in the next half of the video. You simply drop your chip that you're programming directly into the socket. Pull it down. And the software does the rest. That's it. Your pick is programmed. It also has a connector that you can t that it comes with a cable where you can connect it for in-circuit programming on an external circuit. <coughs> All right. Let's look at how the main software works. Uh, let's turn it to the side a bit too. You'll see a LED light up when it's programming, a yellow LED. Let's just program it again just for fun. There you go. All right, the software is available off my website. It consists of this simple executable micro bin. All right, when you click it and it comes on, it says there appears to be a problem with the COM port. I'm assuming you have the programmer plug in. Click OK. Let's move this up here where we can see it. Let's go to my computer. Control panel. Go to System, Hardware, Device Manager, and if you look down here on COM ports and so forth, you'll find out that this prolific USB serial communication port COM5, your, your K150 is on COM5. Close that out close that out let's go back up here let's go to serial port reset that for five okay the board is not responding well it actually is it's resetting itself it comes up and says that but it's actually working as I will prove momentarily all right, we need to load a execute. This is called a hex file, assuming that you used uh, things like MPLAB, I use 8.88. You'll load this executable file. All right, all you have to do now, this even shows you how to plug in the chip. In this case, it's a 16F628A. You will hit program it'll ask you to erase the chip programming complete and you are finished plug it into your project and off you go you can also verify the chip if you want to data verified you can read it you can make the uh, you can uh, do a blank chip test and it's going to come back in error if you've programmed it before at all and so forth. You can program in various fuses. I've never used that function. I don't have any purpose for it as, as far as I'm going to do. All right, so that's it. It's, it's that simple. You plug it in. You pull up this software that's available on my website. So go visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.